Good evening, everyone. My name is Lauren Doyle, and I am here representing PACAC this evening. And welcome to the Virtual College Exploration for All Pennsylvania Students, sponsored by the Pennsylvania Association for College Admission Counseling and Stripe Scan. Tonight, we are going to be hearing from the California University of Pennsylvania. PACAC is a nonprofit association comprised of more than 1,200 school counselors, college admissions counselors, independent education consultants, and other professionals responsible for guiding students through the important transition from high school to post-secondary options. Thank you for joining us. A few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenter at any time. Your camera and microphone are off, so the panelists cannot see or hear you. This is just one of the many different sessions happening, so be sure to check the full schedule at PACAC.org. This presentation is being recorded and will be available within about a week at the same website, PACAC.org. I'd now like to turn it over to our presenters. Good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Eric Tarpley, and I am one of the assistant directors of admission at California University of Pennsylvania. Uh, glad to come through and talk with you this evening about Cal U. And if you have any questions at any time, please feel free to put them in the Q&A. Uh, I am going to share my screen here in a moment and actually walk you through a presentation on Cal. And so hopefully um, this will also have some questions answered for you as well. Okay, so California University of Pennsylvania, we're actually one of your 14 state-owned universities. We're located in a small town called California, PA. Uh, we're roughly about uh, 35 miles south of the city of Pittsburgh. So we were actually founded in 1852 as an education university, but yet education is still our, one of our largest majors. Uh, we'd like to welcome you to Cal U. Your journey will start here because uh, we truly do believe that you're gonna have that opportunity to come into Cal U and uh, unlock your story uh, with us at Cal. And as I mentioned, you can see here on the screen here that California, Pennsylvania, as I mentioned, we're about 35 miles south of the city of Pittsburgh. So you can see all the other areas that are around us with Harrisburg being roughly about three hours away, Philadelphia being four and a half hours, uh, Erie being two and a half hours north of us. Uh, we're in a very small town in California, PA as well. Uh, a lot of students did not know that there is a California, Pennsylvania, but we are a very small town. Uh, population roughly about 6,000 people in the town we're located in. Our total enrollment at Cal U, uh, it's 6,842 students, and you can see the breakdown of 4,856 undergraduate students uh, with 1,986 graduate students. Uh, you can see our breakdown in terms of our undergraduate population in terms of race and ethnicity. Uh, we continue to grow uh, our campus size as we keep moving forward uh, in terms of uh, race and ethnicity because we're trying to make sure that we are uh, a place that is open for all students to be able to attend. Our campus size, that we are roughly 294 acres. We break it down into two different campuses. We have the 98 acre main campus, that's where your residence halls, your, your student union, uh, all of your academic buildings and also workout facilities are located on campus. Then we have a upper campus, which uh, it's 196 acres. That's where our apartment style housing is located. Uh, also, we have our um, football stadium as well as also other athletic complexes that are located roughly about three quarters of a mile away from campus. But there are buses and shuttles that get you around our campus. So it doesn't mean that you're going to need to have a car to get back and forth. And honestly, with our campus being 98 acres on the main campus, you can still walk that rather quickly, roughly about, uh, about 10 minutes from one end to the other, and that's still even walking and saying hello to people on your way. We have 40 buildings on our campus. Uh, we've really updated our campus quite a bit. And even though I mentioned we've been around since 1852, uh, we have uh, residence halls. They're all, all of six of the buildings are, are suites. We also renovated our student union. The student union is actually, uh, we added on some spaces. We've totally renovated the inside of the building. Uh, we renovated the, uh, our dining, uh, dining hall, also the food court area. Uh, we've uh, renovated also the movie theater that's in our campus uh, as well. 
we added a rotunda. That's where our Career and Professional Development Center is. So that's the long name for career services. And also the internship office is also in that same suite. Also, we've added our first chain restaurant to our student union, which is Chick-fil-A. So you do have a Chick-fil-A available to you as well. And our student to faculty ratio at Cal U is actually 17 to one. And you're gonna find out our classes will range anywhere between 25 to 45 students in a class. Uh, but you'll find out some of your freshman classes may go about maybe 50 to 55 starting out. And we also have 18 NCAA Division II teams. Uh, and I would say our most popular uh, programs, especially for men, will be the football program, uh, basketball program, as well as baseball are the most popular. Uh, but then we also have for women would be our women's basketball team, volleyball team, and softball team are the most popular programs at Cal U. We have over 120 academic programs at Cal. And out of our uh, over 120 undergraduate majors, we offer some really nice majors that are, or should I say are the popular majors we offer would be, you know, education for one, criminal justice. And in our criminal justice area, we've developed two new areas in forensic science. We actually have forensic investigation for anyone who wants to be uh, a, basically a crime scene investigator. We also offer cyber forensics for anyone who wants to get into data security. We also have a um, criminology area. We have a uh, law and justice major, as well as also homeland and international security. We have our own police academy on our campus as well. So it is for, uh, the certification is for municipal police. We also offer great majors in business offer great majors in sports management, applied engineering and technology majors. In our applied engineering and technology majors, we offer computer engineering, electrical engineering, uh, an associate degree in robotics. We offer mechatronics and also one of our newest majors on campus is drone technology. For all of you students who are into unmanned aerial vehicles, uh, you will actually learn how to design and fly them on our campus. We're a federal airspace. So whenever you graduate from Cal U, you'll be able to have enough air time that you will be able to sit for your federal pilot's license as well. Uh, and also we have a new major that we uh, actually started last fall, but we actually have one of our buildings offline this fall because we were retrofitting it to fit the new major of vet tech. So in that vet tech area, uh, we are now having it uh, come together with uh, kennels as well as also labs. So students are able to learn to do things with you know, how to work with animals in a small sense. So it won't be animals like, you know, horses and cows. It'll be like your domesticated animals, like your, you know, your uh, dogs and cats. Also, it'll walk you through some of the grooming and everything as well. But we've got a lot of great programs to offer you at Cal. Psychology is also very popular. So we have, like I said, over 120 undergraduate majors, and we want you to take advantage of those uh, and come to Cal U. We work on uh, hands-on learning at Cal. Uh, when we say hands-on learning, we try to do everything in terms of, we call it experiential learning, that we try to make sure that your degree programs are, are going along with industry standards. So whenever you're learning at Cal, you, when you graduate from Cal, you are going to be uh, ready to step right into uh, the workforce in terms of your career. Uh, and also, we're trying to get you prepared for also graduate programs as well. And with the great faculty that we have at Cal, you have over 400 plus faculty experts. And of that 400 plus faculty experts, 85% of our full-time faculty have terminal degrees, which that means that they've all earned their doctorates. So they can't go any further than that. that uh, that's the highest degree they can, they can earn. And we also have an exploratory study program for undecided students. We talked about some of the popular majors for our undergraduate majors, but exploratory studies is a program for students who may not know what they wanna do. So you're actually in exploratory studies. You'll come in and test drive your major. Uh, a lot of our students will pick their degree programs normally within the first semester or the first year uh, because we do a lot to make sure that we can help you find that degree starting out. So not only will you talk with us in admissions, we try to get you involved also with the schedulers. And we also have our Career and Professional Development Center will help you find degree programs too. So say for example, if you say you want to go into business but you don't know what may fall into um, possibly say the uh, accounting degree. So we'll say if you want to be, you know, if you want to become an accountant, we want you to go into accounting and start walking through the majors that way. And that's how some of our students will find their degree programs. We have an awesome honors program at Cal U. Uh, at Cal, our, our graduate programs, uh, should I say the honors program that we have at Cal, 
uh, is very strong. So in our honors program, it is you are actually invited uh, to the program. So in order to qualify for this program, it is a minimum of a 3.25 grade point average. Uh, we're now test optional. So if you have your SATs, uh, the minimum SAT we're looking for is 1100 or, or a 24 on your ACT. But as long as you have a 3.25 and you weren't able to take your SATs or ACTs, you'll be fine. But also you're gonna get challenging honors coursework. And in this program that even though that a lot of your coursework starting out is gonna be English based, but you can always designate one of your junior or senior level courses as an honors class. You'll just fill out an addendum and then the program directors will contact the faculty members in your major to have that set up as an honors course. So it could be maybe a research opportunity. Uh, there may be study abroad that's, that's attached to it, but there's gonna be some type of uh, coursework that's going to get you prepared to doing research as well as also maybe defending a thesis, uh, possibly um, doing some type of uh, demonstration uh, will be part of that honors uh, course. Yeah, prior priority registration, which means that you will schedule early for your classes. So scheduling early, so when they open up the portal uh, for all freshmen, you'd have already scheduled roughly about the week before. And that's one way to make sure that you're gonna get your coursework on time and graduate on time or possibly early. You also have a residence hall that is just designated for our honors program. It also has its own classroom in the bottom. So whenever you get up in the morning and you just wanted to splash some water on your face, brush your teeth and just go to that class in the morning, feel free to just walk down and go in your pajamas because a lot of students do. Uh, and now also another great thing with, uh, we talk about priority registration. We also have a program called the four-year grad plan. That four-year grad plan will also get you out of Cal U graduated uh, in four years or less. The four-year graduation rate for students in the program is 87%. And then out of that 87%, uh, we have 5% that graduate a semester early. We have up to 8% that graduate a year early. And like I said, you're gonna have priority registration for that as well. We have a ton of things for you to do as a student at Cal U. So your life is a Vulcan. Uh, you know, you're not just going to go to class and just come back to your room. We want you to get involved in all the other things we offer on our campus. So we offer uh, over 100 clubs and organizations. And then within that, that list, you'll see some of them are here with Greek life, student government. There are intramural sports. We also, the, the Division II sports, we're actually, as I mentioned, we're Division II. We're in the Pennsylvania State Athletic Conference. Study abroad opportunities, all the way down to becoming a student ambassador. Student ambassadors are actually tour guides on our campus. And our student ambassadors, you actually will get paid to do campus tours as well. Now onto our residence halls. We have six residence halls, they're all sweet style. And actually in the background is a picture of one of, our, one of the six residence halls. As I mentioned, they're all suites. So the worst rooming arrangement you will get will be two students in a room and a private bathroom in your room. They're air conditioned, cable television access, internet, uh, internet access, laundry facilities on, on every floor. Uh, also, it's very secure in terms of, you know, getting into the building. So there's a lot of security. So it'll be a key to the outside door. Then you have to walk past someone sitting at the desk. Then your, your cow card, which is your student ID, you'll swipe that to get into the next door. Then the last layer of security would be actually the key to your individual room. But you can have up to a four-person suite uh, in these residence halls as well. They're just incredible facilities on our campus. So all six are built this way. But the largest one is actually Carter Hall that actually has also our health center on the bottom floor. So if you need to see a nurse, which we have nurses on call, what should I say on staff, 24 hours a day, but then we also have doctors on call. So if you need to go and be seen for, if you have a cold or something like that, or if you need uh, medicine that's going to be administered by uh, a health professional, you can go and have it done there as well. Then also the next uh, options that we offer, as I mentioned earlier, the Vulcan Village Apartments that are next to the football stadium. So you can actually see a picture of uh, Vulcan Village in the back there. That's one of the uh, apartment style housing complexes. And you can see the pool that's there as well. But you know, off to the right down the, over the hill a little bit is also the sand volleyball court. Then off to the left, uh, which is not shown in a picture would be the basketball court. But also you have your own uh, workout facilities, uh, fitness center there as well. You have 24 seven access. And also you have a lot of different room configurations in Vulcan Village. So you have a two bedroom, two bath, four bedroom, four bath, or four bedroom, two bath. 
they are fully furnished. Uh, also, if you want to cook for yourselves, they have a fully staffed kitchen as well. Uh, you just have to bring your own pots and pans. Uh, just bring your own linens because everything is going to be provided for you in the uh, Vulcan Village apartments. Now, to apply to CalU, it's very simple. So our application process, you can apply two different ways. Uh, you can do ARC application or you can do the common application. You just want to go to our website. You can see calu.edu slash apply. Or if you don't remember that, you can always go to our website and just click on the red apply button in the top right hand corner. It'll still take you to the application. For our application, it's going to be a very fast app. But if you do the common app, if you've already applied by the common app to other schools, we will accept the common application as well. But uh, for our application, the only thing we're going to require is for you to send official high school transcripts. So you actually ask your guidance counselor to send us your transcripts. And then you'll submit the application fee or the waiver. When, when we're done, I'll actually put the fee waiver code in the Q&A so you'll be able to have that as well. And as you're waiting for your admissions decision, uh, we want you to attend a virtual open house. You can also, we have a couple different uh, options for you to visit us as well, which I'll cover that here shortly. But the GPA to be accepted to Cal U, this is the minimum cumulative grade point average, is a 2.5. But if you're looking into nursing, it'd be a minimum of a 3.0. And as I mentioned, we are now test optional. So if you have, were not able to take your SATs or ACT due to COVID, that is fine. We will admit you based on your grade point average and the coursework that you take as well. And now since the FAFSA portal is now open, uh, you also see in the corner here, you'll see the FAFSA code. For us, it's actually 003316. So you'll be able to um, apply your financial aid there as well. A lot of opportunities in terms of internships. So you can see all the different places our students are doing internships, because as mentioned, in our student center, uh, we in our rotunda, you'll see there, uh, there's career and professional development, but the internship office also shares the same space. So you can see the different opportunities our students are doing, you know, from UPS, NASA, Amazon, the Steelers, the Flyers. Uh, Disney is probably one of the most, uh, say, competitive uh, internships that are out there throughout the country. But we actually have a student who completed that internship a couple years ago. She's now working for them full time. So that is, the, that is definitely what normally happens with a lot of our students, that they are offered jobs when they complete their internships. Because we tell our students that, that internships could be a semester long interview for you, where they're gonna interview you for the semester, and also you're kind of interviewing them, but you're gonna put your best foot forward and do the best work you can do, uh, because one, it's also gonna be an academic class for you as well. Internships could be anywhere from a three credit, which is the equivalent of one class, or all the way up to 12, which is the equivalent of an entire semester. So you're able to leave our campus to do your internships. Now for the total cost, uh, as an in-state resident at Cal U, uh, you're gonna pay roughly around 21.5. This is based on you know, um, 12 credits instead of the 15. So in 15 credits, that's gonna be you know, five classes in a semester. That is your tuition, your room, your fees, and your meals. So around 21.5. Uh, but then also, if you are a student who lives close to us, if you commute, it's going to be roughly about 11,800 based on the uh, 15 credit semester. And then these are all the different fees that are out there. So you'll see the parking fees. If you bring a car, you're only going to be charged that unless you bring a vehicle. But then also, we base it on the 14 mil plan on our campus. A lot of our students will tell us they're not getting up and going to breakfast in the morning. So if you don't get up and go to breakfast in the morning, don't pay for it. So 14 meals will cover you. It'd be lunch and dinner Monday through Friday, and then your meals on the weekends, which would be brunch and dinner on Saturday and Sunday. But also the dine dollar account, we give you $200 per semester uh, to be able to use that all over campus. And most of our students will burn their $200 per semester in Chick-fil-A. Since you're not able to use your meal plan in Chick-fil-A, you can use the dine dollar account. And also that 21.5 that I talked about, it's also based on the two-person room, uh, which is that two students in a room and a private bathroom as well. And also scholarships, to qualify for scholarships, it's a minimum of a 3.0 GPA. And you can see the range in terms of our Vulcan Merit Scholarship that we start awarding $2,000 and $3,500 is the uh, max for that scholarship. But there are other scholarships that we offer throughout the university. Uh, but this is the first scholarship that you're actually offered whenever you apply to Cal U 
and you're accepted and you meet the 3.0 GPA or higher. You do not have to apply for the scholarship. It's automatically awarded to you based on acceptance. And you follow us anywhere you'd like, because you can see that we're on, you know, TikTok, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and we even have our own YouTube channel. So feel free to follow us at any time. And because uh, like I said, we're on just about every social media account that's out there. Okay, let me uh, stop sharing my screen. And I see we have a question. Yeah, matter of fact, uh, let me go ahead and um, answer that for you. So, uh, which I'll get an answer, but I'll also put it here too. So, um, we are offering tours uh, on our campus. Uh, anytime that you'd like to come and take a look at our uh, campus to see the visit options we have, uh, I'm also going to give you the um, the website actually to be able to go to to schedule different types of programs and I'll cover those for you here in a moment too. Just want to go through and Okay, so the uh, the tours that we offer, we have a couple different uh, tours that are that we are offering right now. So one is going to be the car tour. So that car tour is actually um, you know, if you want to do no contact. So it would be you and your family in your vehicle, and then I would be in my vehicle or one of my colleagues would be in their vehicle. And uh, we would basically connect through either uh, Zoom or by telephone, whatever you feel is going to be more appropriate for you and your family. Uh, then we drive the campus and we actually walk you through uh, what's in each building. We don't get out of the car at all, so that's basically said zero contact, which means you won't enter any buildings. But then we do have an express tour. The express tour would be uh, you and your family coming to campus, but you can only bring two members of your family with you. Because in order to meet CDC guidelines, uh, it's only going to be you and two guests. You're going to take a self-guided tour, walk around campus. You're not allowed to enter any buildings. But then we have the full tour that actually one of our student ambassadors will take you around campus. And then in that tour, you will go through a few different buildings on campus. So I think we take you in about five or six different buildings, um, you know, because we have to make sure that we also stay within the CDC guidelines for that as well. Uh, that's still going to be, uh, you know, you and two guests, which our tours cannot exceed 10 people. And the 10th person would actually be your tour guide. But then we do have virtual open houses. Uh, we're actually going to have one next Monday on uh, October 12th. Uh, so our open house is from 10 a.m. until 12 p.m. next Monday, uh, which is Columbus Day. So I don't know if, if you guys are off from school or not. So that is one of the visit options that we also, another visit option that we have. Uh, or you can do a one-on-one -on -one Zoom meeting with, a, with, a, with an assistant director. Uh, so if you weren't able to come to campus, but yet you want to sit down and have a conversation with one of us, we would do that through Zoom. So we would actually send you the link. And then you're welcome to have, you know, parents join, whoever you want to have join you in that conversation with us. And we'd actually handle that like it's a face-to-face on-campus visit. So at that point, we'll walk you through your majors. We'll ask, answer all your questions for you as well. Uh, and we just try to make this a, an interactive day for you as well. Are there any other questions I can answer for anyone right now? Because it's like, you know, want to make sure that we are walking you through anything you'd like to know today. Right now, uh, we're not offering um, any of the tours right now on weekends uh, due to CDC guidelines that they're only asking us to hold them Monday through Friday. And then, but the virtual open houses, some of them do happen on a weekend. So um, those, except we, I don't know if we're going to open up to do more visitation on weekends coming up, but um, we will try to accommodate you the best way we can. You're welcome. Anything else I can answer? Because I want to make sure that we're addressing all of your needs today.
Oh, before I forget, I do want to give you guys the, uh, the fee waiver code. So that fee waiver code, it's going to be all capital letters. So it is C is in Charlie, R is in Robert, C is in Charlie, A is in Apple, L is in Larry, U is umbrella. So C R Cal U. That's short for Counselor Referral Cal U. So even if you apply by the common application or if you use our application, that will waive your $35 application fee. I knew there was something I almost forgot to do that was to give you the fee waiver code. Our app turnaround time, uh, actually, uh, let's say for example, if your application, we got everything in today, um, it would basically get everything, I would say probably put in and probably you get, have, you get an answer from us roughly in about two or three days from a completed application. So from the time you apply, depending on how quick you can get transcripts to us, it's normally roughly about a week and a half to two weeks that you're getting an answer from us, just as long as you're getting everything in to us. So what will happen, I would actually read your application and once I review it, uh, once I go through and accept you, I will actually text you to tell you that you've been accepted. And then from there, you also get your first acceptance letter via email. Uh, and then also you'll get your third uh, contact in terms of a, a letter coming from the Dean of Admissions where she'd actually sign it and maybe even give you a little personal PS, welcome you to campus, you, campus uh, to Cal U as well. Because we're, we're enrolling admissions, which means there are no deadlines. So you can apply at any time. And then, like I said, you get a decision and you're not locked in. Um, it just means that um, you would just you know, get a decision and you can relax and concentrate on the rest of your senior year. Yes, our coaches will do that. They will meet with you. And all you need to do is, like, is just make sure that you're staying in contact uh, with the coach, especially if you want to talk to um, you know, Coach Letourneau. Uh, matter of fact, should I say the coach is Letourneau uh, because it's actually a husband and wife uh, coaching team. Uh, so actually, uh, Peter's the head coach and his wife, Barbara, is also the assistant uh, head coach. So you would just contact them through our athletics uh, part of the website. And you would just let them know that you're coming to campus on a certain day. And you would just try to work it out that they could actually sit and meet with you. And if something happens, they can't meet with you, then they would actually do something by Zoom or whatever. So they're going to try to do whatever they can to meet with you when you're on campus. Any other questions? I mean, because we still have time. So feel free to fire away because it seems like it's just uh, basically just me and you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it seemed like it's just, you know, it's just us today. So um, I think it's just me, you and, uh, and our facilitator that are in today. So um, it's okay that it's this way because it just means that, you know, you're getting more of a personalized uh, conversation just to you. And I'm glad to be able to provide, you know, a little bit of comedy for your family today also. <laughs> it's okay to laugh. It's like, as I tell everybody, I, I try to laugh at myself every day. So. Um, Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Glad to know that you like my style. I really do. So that, that, uh, that means a lot to me. I mean, considering that uh, I know that you are talking to a lot of people and having to sit in a lot of these uh, virtual presentations, even during school. So um, try to make this as, uh, as painless as possible. You're welcome. You also have a great night and you know, so wish your family also a good night as well. I'm going to just do some finishing housekeeping notes here. If there okay. any other questions come up, we still have, you know, about 15 minutes or so. So um, sure. let me just share this information. Here we go.
So this is just thanking you and that um, thank you for joining us. When you close this window, um, there will be a link that will send you to a very quick four question survey. We'd appreciate any feedback that you can provide. Also, this was just one of the many sessions being hosted. So be sure to sign up for additional sessions at pacac.org. In about a week, you'll be able to find this session's recording as well as all of the other session recordings at pacac.org. Thank you for joining us this evening. And it seems like I think we've got everything answered. Oh, Eric, you're, you're muted. Yeah, sorry, I, I always end up doing it. Whenever someone else is presenting, I always mute myself and then forget that I put myself on mute. Uh, yeah, so definitely just glad to be able to be here this evening. And um, so and hopefully, you know, this will turn into people going out and looking at this later, even though that we didn't get a lot of people attending tonight. So hopefully people will go back and download it later and actually watch the uh, recording. Yes, sounds great. Well, thank you very much and thank have you. a good night, everyone. You do the same. Thank you. Take care. Bye. Bye.